In this video, I'm going to pick up where I left off in the last video. So in the last video, I talked about how to use the methods on the promise object in jQuery. So the methods fail, done, and always. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use when. So when is a jQuery function that takes in any number of promise objects and it returns a new promise object that gets resolved to done when all of the promise objects that were passed in become done. So I'll demonstrate that here with a simple example. Um, let me get rid of this. Let me change this back to Ajax test. Then this I'll remove. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to create a second Ajax call. So two, not a very creative name, but it will work for our purposes. Can't spell Ajax two. Okay, and I don't want these to finish right away, so I'm going to introduce a delay. I'm going to use the sleep function from the time package to do this. So from time import sleep. And in this one, I'll add a delay of, say, two seconds. And in this one, I'll add a delay of five seconds. So let me save that. and servers running and I'll create a second promise test which is just the same thing as the first one except it's going to call Ajax test 2 instead of just Ajax test So the first thing I'll do is I'll add a done on this promised, just to show you the delay in action. So promise, done, and I'll alert, delay done. All right, so let me refresh the page. I have the network view open so we can see how long it takes. So I hit the button and it's pending, pending, it takes two seconds. So this promise test two should take five seconds because I added the five there. So what I want to do instead is I want to create this new variable, both promised, the first argument will be promise, and the second argument will be promise two. And promise two is just going to promise test two. So I'm passing in both promise objects from two different Ajax calls. And when is going to return a new promise object that will only resolve to done when both of these resolve to done. So both promise dot done. I'll say alert me when both are done. So on click of the button, I'm gonna fire off these two Ajax calls and then create this new promise object from both of these promise objects up here. Then when they both finish, I'll alert something. So let me refresh. And then let's go. So they're both pending. The first one completes in 2.01 seconds. The second one is still pending. And when the second one completes, you see both are done. 
you see how it waited for both to complete before it showed the alert. So this is useful when you're doing some kind of asynchronous calls and you don't know when the last one is going to finish. So you just want to do something when all of them finish. That's when you use when. So when returns a new promise object that you can then create a done event on and then do something when everything in the original win is done. So that's all I want to show you in this video. Thanks for watching.